Commissioner Bettman, after Wednesday night's statement from the NHL and the NHLPA, it seems like we're getting closer to seeing players on ice. Obvious first question for you, how close are we to resuming the 2019-2020 season? Uh, I don't think anybody knows for certain. We're going to have to take things one step at a time because the health, health and well-being of our players is paramount to anything we're focused on. And so we'd like to be able to get our training facilities open. We'd like our guys to be able to work themselves back into shape. Uh, but this is something we're going to continue to evaluate on a day-to-day -day basis. Our health concerns for the players really fit into two categories. One is obviously COVID-19. And two, whatever we're going to do, we don't want them in games until they're back in game. We know you have injured. to think so we're going to continue to monitor things. We're going to continue to monitor things. And uh, when, when the guidance from the medical people is right and the governmental authorities are comfortable, then we'll take step one, which is reopening our training facilities. We know you have to take a long view on this. So the next question is about next season. How much of this decision has to do with not wanting to impact the sanctity of next season? We obviously don't want to uh, impact, as you call it, the sanctity of next season, uh, but we have a great deal of flexibility in terms of when we can start. Uh, there's no magic for next season of starting in October as we traditionally do. If we have to start in November or December, that's something that will be under consideration. Uh, we're going to try and make good, prudent, careful judgments. This isn't a race to be first back. Uh, uh, when we come back, we want it to be at the right time for the right reasons under the right mm -hmm. circumstances. You've been the commissioner of this league for over a quarter century. How does this almost surreal situation compare to some of the other challenges you've faced? I don't know that anybody in any industry in any line of work, uh, in any social setting, has seen anything quite like this. Uh, obviously, we, we've had situations where we weren't playing uh, due to work stoppages, uh, but while the experience of not operating uh, is painful for us and fans and everybody who works in the game, the fact of the matter is the, the worldwide pandemic is something that dwarfs everything that, that we're focused on and considering. There is an emotional component to this situation. What would you say to the great fans of the NHL and what they're going through? They miss the game so much. We, we miss the game. We miss our fans. We miss watching our players play every night. We'd be in the middle of the playoffs right now. Uh, we're focused on trying to do the right things for the good of the game uh, so we can get back and connect with our great fans as soon as possible. But as soon as possible means under the right circumstances. And for that, we're going to take our guidance uh, from the governments at all levels and from the medical people. And in doing that, you're not alone. The other professional sports leagues are in the same boat. How much communication is there among the commissioners of the various leagues? There, there's some occasional communication. We're touching base periodically, but we're all focusing on our own sports and our own needs in our own way. Uh, what might work for one sport doesn't necessarily work for the other. Our seasons are different. Uh, our, our facilities needs are different. Uh, but the one thing I think that binds all of us, is I don't think anybody wants to do anything that would be imprudent. One thing that we heard about was there was an initial plan to have certain locations where perhaps non-traditional locations, not NHL markets, would be used. Then we heard that that would not be the idea. As this situation remains fluid, how challenging is it to navigate all the different possibilities? We're considering all the possibilities, although I think, I think the, the rumor, the speculation, uh, far 
precedes any decisions that have been made. Uh, when when we have something to say, we announce it. Uh, yesterday, we made a joint announcement with the Players Association. Uh, we're looking at all of our options. Looking at your options, doing due diligence is a far cry from saying any decisions have been made uh, because no decisions have been made. That return to play committee, the level of cooperation and the level of communication between the players and the league seems to be very strong. Is that a fair characterization? I think it is a fair characterization. Uh, I am uh, talking to Don Fear, the executive director of the Players Association, if not daily, almost close to it. Uh, and having the committee that's been put together uh, with the players uh, is important so that uh, we can get the feedback on the issues that are important to them and how to resolve them, and that we can be communicating how we're focusing on the things we think that need to be done. Uh, it's been extraordinarily collaborative, constructive, and cooperative, and uh, I couldn't be more pleased with, with the interaction that we're having. We appreciate your candor, Commissioner. Thanks for joining us. Uh, always good to be with you. Stay safe. Be healthy.